the fuck are we doing? Are we good? Good? Okay, good. So, first of all, I miss you guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you in so long. I just kind of, like, I don't know. Like, I've just been, like, taking a minute for myself. Like, trying to regroup, figure out what I'm trying to do with my content and everything. And I'm sure you've heard the whole TikTok ban thing. I'm trying not, trying not to think about it, but you know, it's a little scary. But I've just been taking a minute to like regroup, just get my shit together a little bit, you know, just try to be an adult. And on that topic, I cleaned my whole apartment yesterday, like deep cleaned, so excited about it. Obviously, like I still have shit like that's disorganized. Like I changed my sheets yesterday and my old sheets are right there, but like my bed's made. And I finally decided that hang on it's kind of dark in here i finally decided how i'm gonna decorate because i haven't given you guys like a tour of my space but it's because it's not decorated like this these two bags need to go to goodwill and this all needs to go out to the trash and recycle and stuff but i kind of just want to show you guys what i'm thinking so like this is my front door and then like so it's like front door and then you walk in and it's my living room but right here i want to have like a white thin table i'm gonna get a big ass mirror like when i say a big ass mirror i mean a big ass mirror to go behind it and i'm gonna get like a chair for right here i'm gonna get a coffee table i'm gonna get um some prints to hang above the couch maybe i'll do mirrors above the couch and then prints above the tv haven't figured out if i want to mount the tv or not yet but too we determined this is my dining table thing. I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but I love this. This is the chairs that came with the table. I got it. It was like a really good deal. Like it was like $4.99, I think, for the table and all the chairs. And I kind of love that they're black because I've determined that my vibe is going to be blacks, creams, whites, just like beiges, very much neutrals. And I was going to go with pops of red, but because my kitchen cabinets are gray, I feel like red and gray just... It won't do what I want it to do. It could. There's potential. But I feel like keeping it with like the cool tones. Like having like deep, dark, like ocean blues and like palm trees. Like I want to add some plants in here. But basically I just haven't decorated because I just didn't know what I wanted to commit to. And the couch that I have, I didn't want to get a white couch. Because I feel like personally for me that's a terrible idea. White couch? Mm -mm. So it's more like a creamy like gray undertone but also like beigey undertone. Type of vibe and then obviously my filming room i want to keep like i want to get it more cohesive because this is just like it's just the essentials of what i need basically right now it's just like my vanity my shoes obviously like my clothing rack my mirror and then for my bedroom i'm gonna change out my this cream comforter i love this comforter so much but like i don't know there's something so like sterile about only having like whites and creams like it looks so good if you do it right I just don't think I'm the type of person that can do it right. This, like this little box, like this is my vibe. Like you have like the black with the golds, with the creams, with the beige, like silver. It's just like anything like that. Like, and I feel like, cause I obviously like I have white wall. They're kind of like off white. Like they're not like a true white. Like my robe is more white. My robe isn't even white, but like this, the frame in the mirror is white. And, like it's not like an actual white. It's like a white with a grayish undertone. But anyway black comforter and then i'm gonna get mirrors to put above my night tables i don't know if i want to get a tv for in here just because it's like it's your bedroom but honestly sometimes just chilling in bed with your tv on like that's a vibe so and i was gonna vlog earlier today right so i actually started a vlog earlier today i had a really good time at the gym and um i went i deep cleaned my car i took geo that's the name of my car i took him to the car wash and usually when I go to the car wash during the week, it's because I'll just make it like a loop and I'll go like from my apartment to the gym, to the car wash, to home. And I'll just like make a little loop out of it. But I usually don't clean the inside of my car. And it's because I had so much shit on the inside of my car. Like, like so many clothes, shoes, heel, like anything you can imagine was in my backseat. And then I went to the beach this weekend with Brooke. So there was so much sand in my car and I was like, no, like it's time. And I spilled coffee in my car this weekend too. So I was like, of course I have to clean it because coffee sitting in fabric is gonna start smelling disgusting. And I, I just don't wanna leave it like that. So that's what I did. Went to Walmart, got some new eyelashes. I need to do my nails. So we're gonna do that. And then I came home. I was vlogging, I was making breakfast. And then I don't know, like I had, like you know when you're having a really good 
day, like really good morning, really good vibes, and then all of a sudden they come fucking crashing down on the ground for no like particularly terrible reason. Like nothing bad happens. Just like I've just felt so like overwhelmed just existing recently. And I know like a lot of people have been feeling like that. And I don't know what the fuck it is, but there's something going on. I'm just gonna like chill out tonight. I deadlifted too this morning for the first time in so long. And my back doesn't hurt in like the oh shit, like you fucked up your back. My back hurts as in like you deadlifted and that can be a back exercise as well as a leg exercise. I think I should start filling my bath before I do my, like take my makeup off and stuff. Oh, actually, you know what I need to do? I need to switch my laundry. I should do that right now because I will forget. Hmm, I don't know if you guys have been in the laundry room yet. It's kind of a, it's not like a terrible shit show in here, but it is a wee bit of one. This is the issue, like that's all clean, still clean in there. And then that's all clean, I need to put that away. Don't ask why it's in the kitchen. I think it was in the kitchen for an incentive to, of me to like put it away, but like, who was I kidding? Like me putting something out in the open will not make me do anything about it until I'm ready. What a pretty background this is. Wow, maybe I should just start getting ready in here. Get ready in my bathtub. Um, but you know when you're like in school and you have this like major huge project due and you only have four days left to turn it in, you haven't even started, so you ask someone in the class, you're like, hey, have you started your project yet? And they're like, oh yeah, like I'm done with mine. And the immediate like, the like anxiety and the fear and the stress settles in, you're like, holy shit. And then you ask more people and then you finally get like the confirmation of like, no, like I haven't started it either. Like I don't, I don't know what to do. So you're like, okay. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one and that's all that matters. That's kind of how I felt because it was just like, all my creator friends that I've been talking to, like they're like, nah, like my TikTok views are down the drain. And I was just like, me too. Me too, girl. So love that for us. Um, and the fact that TikTok might go bye-bye, not so valid. Like I know it'll all be okay, but also like, so yeah, basically I just started fucking spiraling, having a quarter life crisis. So anyway, we're gonna take a bubble bath and have a better day tomorrow. Also, Dr. Teal's bubble bath. Oh, we can light a candle too. Is it just me? Or like, I can't just like go in like a candle like that. Like, I can't, it can't just be like sitting and I'm like, oh, let me light a candle. No, that shit burns me. So I have to. I'm a candle tipper. Wow, I feel like I should use this bathroom more often. Like, honestly, that bathroom is so pretty. Like, I feel like I could do my makeup in there and make it cute. Don't know how I'm gonna decorate my bathrooms yet because like they're bathrooms and I'm not really the biggest bathroom decorator, but I have like pretty bathrooms now and I'm happy about them. So I feel like I should decorate. But anyway, we're just gonna do my, I guess we're not gonna do nighttime skincare right now because I'm just gonna take my makeup off and then wash my face and then put a face mask on. So anyway, what I used to take my makeup off, olive oil, this is the best. I think last vlog I was probably using the Peach Slices makeup balm before that I was using the Charlotte Tilbury one. But honestly, like olive oil, nice quality olive oil has never ever let me down. It gets the job done. It's so cost effective. And this one had its own little like pop-up spout. And I, yeah, like I could put it in a prettier, more convenient bottle, but I really don't care that much. And olive oil is good for your skin too. But I just look at like a tiny ass thing of cleansing balm and I'm like $28 for that when I can just go buy a bottle of olive oil from the store. Pro tip, if you use olive oil or probably any oil for that matter to take off your makeup, my eyelashes have never been as long as they are right now. And I know that it's because I've been using olive oil to take my makeup off because it's hydrating them and conditioning them and making them long and healthy. I love how the ocean just heals everything. That's why I don't think I can live somewhere where I'm not close to the ocean and somewhere that the ocean isn't like an accessible thing year round. Like I could have gone swimming in December, you know, and it's like it's March and I know that a lot of places are still like snowy and like 30 degrees and like that kind of thing. And like people say, Thank God it's finally in the 50s. And I'm like, bitch, like I'm bundled at 68 degrees. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I don't know. But that's why I'm thinking like Australia. It seems like a good plan of me. Okay, look at my bath filling up so nicely. Perfect temperature. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful. Look, I washed all my makeup brushes the other day. 
These are just the ones that are sitting here because I don't really use these ones too often. But also this one was like a towel rack thing that I got, but clearly I haven't been using it. Anyway, long story short, I was in Sephora because I wanted some skincare. So I got some skincare and I picked up this mask and it's the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. Invigorates and brightens skin's appearance, okay? Literally, I've never bought anything from Kiehl's before. I was looking for the brand Fresh and I went into a different Sephora than I usually go into. So I thought I was in the Fresh area and the labels don't look anything alike, but like if you're me, you're like, oh, that, yeah. Yeah, that's it, because I don't, I don't look at it a whole lot, you know, so I thought I found it. Didn't. Anyway, got this one. Literally a few days later, <sighs> Kiehl's sent me PR back and I was like, no fucking way. No fucking way, that's so cool. That was like a universe synchronicity, how cool. I really have been liking this face mask. Like, I like how it feels. I like what it does. I love that it doesn't break me out. You know when you have a face mask? Like, especially clay face masks. They usually cause your skin to purge. Yeah, this is not a clay face mask, so it's not gonna do that. But I feel like it just helps brighten my skin and kind of fade my scars a little. I'm gonna take a bubble bath. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I just found Jordan Lipscomb on TikTok and I saw that she had a YouTube too and I'm just like, I'm obsessed. So that's what I'll be doing for the foreseeable future. Love you, see you in a minute. What a successful bath that was. Also, I put gel in my hair today. I washed my hair today and I put gel in it. So now I kind of fucked it up for the rest of the days of the week, but it's okay because I'll just take care of that tomorrow. It's time to do some skincare. I really need to get a different tripod for you guys because when you're in my bathroom, also hang on. This Dove Zero Aluminum Shea Butter Scent deodorant, incredible. Cause it's like a gel, like it's not, it's white, but it's like not a powder and I hate powder deodorant. Um, also, I don't believe in antiperspirant because like, you're telling me that a product's gonna make me not sweat. I don't believe that. Well, fucking antiperspirants are powder. So another reason, it's just not my vibe. Anyway, here's what I've been doing. So I have this Caudalie, Caudalie? How do you say it? Let's ask Google. Caudalie. Caudalie. We gotta work on that pronunciation. But anyway, it's from that brand. And this is the grape water. It's literally just water, I think. Grape water, apparently. But they sent it to me in PR, and I'm using it because I like to get my skin a little bit wet before I use any of my products, just because they have the products absorb better. And then I'm gonna go in with this Fresh Brand Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. And I like to put a little bit on my hands, and I'll just rub it in. Just kind of get it all over my face. I feel like when I put toner on a cotton pad, I'm just wasting it. I don't like feeling like that. It just pisses me off. So we do not like to waste product around here. And then my face is all nice and juicy and damp. And then I can go in. I got the Inkyless Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And at first I hated that it didn't have a little dropper. But honestly, I feel like it helps you use the correct amount. Like literally the tiniest pea, pea sized droplet. And you could tell that it's thick. Like this is a nice hyaluronic serum. I mean, I'm just going based off texture. I don't know anything about ingredients, but actually funny story. When I was in college, um, I had a speech class and I was going to do it online and me being me, I was just like, Oh, like this will be cake. Like I could just edit. And I was thinking like, no, she probably wanted us to give like a speech. So one of our first topics was just like, give a presentation on something that you care about. And I was just like, Let's talk about the different types of ingredients in skincare and what they do and how they work and all that stuff. And then I realized I literally really put my video in iMovie and I started editing it and I was just like, she's not going to like this. Like, I'm just going to drop the class. Because honestly, I'd rather give speeches in person. Like, if I'm going to take a speech class, it's going to be in person. So that was my plan. I dropped the class like within the drop period so I got refunded and everything and it didn't affect my GPA at all. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. That was the Bioma Brightening Serum. It's the Triceramide Complex with Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid, so double whammy on the Hyaluronic Acid. And this is the CeraVe Acne Control Gel and it has its 2% salicylic acne treatment with glycolic acid and lactic acid, so it's AHA, BHA. And just get a little tiny baby drop of this on my hands. I like to dab it on my face. 
rather than rubbing it into my hands first. I don't really know why, but I do. Um, but yeah, I was just like, oh, I'd rather take that class in person because it's a speech class. Like, I'd rather, like, present my speech as a speech, not as a video, you know? And then, so I dropped that class, took my other classes, then I dropped out. And then I'm going to go out with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. They sent me this in a PR package. Did I say that already? Yeah, I was talking about that. But this is one of the things that they sent in the PR package, and I really do like it. The texture reminds me of a little bit thicker version of the Cetaphil, just the regular Cetaphil lotion. So I don't know if I would repurchase this, just because I know that it's probably a little bit pricier. And it kind of just, it's just a lightweight moisturizer. And I like lightweight moisturizers because if I use any tooth, anything too thick, I'll break out. And I'm going to use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And this, you literally need like the tiniest amount. Like it's a very thick, it's kind of tacky in a way, like it's kind of sticky. But I love eye cream. I was watching YouTube in the bubble bath. And honestly, YouTube is just so comforting. Like it makes, it just makes you feel so much more like real, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that. Hang on, pause on that. The Sunday Riley UFO Acne Treatment Oil. It has salicylic acid, tea tree oil, milk thistle oil, milk thistle, cucumber seed oil, and black cumin seed oil. Just the tiniest amount. Little goes a long way. If you have oily acne prone skin, please don't be afraid to use oils. Because I have oily acne prone skin and I have oily skin because I'm so like, oh no, I need to get rid of the acne. Um, yeah, it's actually just because you're producing too much oil because your skin is actually dehydrated. So, I mean, that's not the case for everyone. That's the case for a lot of people. But then also on top of that, just because that's more of like a treatment oil, I'm going to go with this Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil from Charlotte Tilbury. Just as more of like a hydrating oil. What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, YouTube is just so comforting. Like, like yeah, like you and me, we're gonna hang out. And we don't know each other. We don't talk to each other in real life, but it's just so comforting. And whenever I start to feel like down and just like kind of like uninspired or just unmotivated, like just kind of like lost, I love to put on YouTube and just watch my comfort creators. It makes everything so much better. And Shit's Creek, of course, is a comfort show. I have three comfort shows. One of them used to be Friends. Ever since Friends went to HBO, it kind of stopped being my comfort show just because it's like, I've watched it so much for me to just like go out of my way to go to HBO and have the ads. It's not a comfort show anymore, but I still love it. Like that's always like my hotel room go-to because what else are you gonna watch in the hotel room? Um, but New Girl, Gilmore Girls, and Shit's Creek. Those are my top three. A big three. But I'm gonna do my nails right now. So if you guys wanna join, you're more than welcome. I started to get really good at picking up after myself. Like, like right when I was done with a makeup product, I would put it away. That lasted for like um, a day or two. Then it stopped. But you know what? It's okay because I'm aware of it. I'm acknowledging it. But pro tip, if you're using like a heat tool and you don't wanna put it down somewhere, if you have like a vanity drawer, String it through and then shut it so that it dangles off of your vanity so that it's not touching anything. I love press on nails. One, it keeps your natural nails so healthy. Like these feel like they've never even met an acrylic nail. So that's why I love press ons. Another reason is just because they're so much cheaper, it's so much easier. And the key to making them last is rubbing alcohol. But anyway, these are the Kiss Salon Acrylic French. And these are my favorite, favorite, favorite. They're just so nice. And honestly, anytime I go to the salon or like when I used to get my nails done and I would ask for a French tip, like it just never was how I wanted it. And these are just literally so cohesive, obviously, because I'm assuming a fucking machine printed them. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Oh no, guys. Okay, well, I'm going to do my nails because this is the only battery I have, so I need to charge you, but I'm going to do my nails, so when I come back, these will be pretty. Okay, so, 
I did my nails. If you were just on my live, then hi, this is the vlog that I was making. Um, but I decided because my camera was, my camera battery was gonna die, um, I finished my nails on live and I got to talk to a lot of you and I'm so happy, I love talking to you. Jordan, love you, love you, Shelby, love you, love you. Icon vlog. I don't fucking remember your name and I'm so sorry, but I know exactly who you are because of your username because how iconic of a fucking username is that? Um, but if you're here too, love you. Ooh, also Kayla. Kayla? That was a name that rang about. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed, but before you go to bed, I hope you guys like the vlog. I know that it was kind of just like chill. Like it was just kind of like a, just like what I wanted to do. And you know what? That's chill. And that's something we were talking about in the live. It's just like, sometimes when you're feeling like shitty about shit, you just gotta do the shit that you wanna do and not have any fucks given for other people's opinion of it. As long as you're not hurting yourself, you're not hurting anyone else. Be respectful, but wait. We have to experience this vibe together. There. There we go. Wow. What good vibes. It's incredible. So pretty. I need to show you guys this too though because I know that a lot of people have these lights. Do you have a fucking dinosaur egg? Because I have a dinosaur egg. Okay? Look. If you want a little nightlight, dino egg. And it plays music. And, cool thing, you can play your own music. Like, I can connect to that like a speaker, but I, I like this like peaceful vibe that we have. Green, white, that looks blue, but that one's the white. That's the blue. Yeah, you can tell there. But anyway, I'm going 99. And I just, I don't know. Vlogging made me feel good, so I'm happy that I, I'm happy that I decided to pick up the cam. PJs from Amazon, if you're wondering. So, on that note, I hope you guys have a good fucking night, or day, or whatever.